All right. Let me just set everything up. Give me one second. In the meantime, I can introduce myself. Hi, my name's Makasi. How are you? I hope your day is going well. I hope the heat isn't being too harsh in your area because it is hot in my room right now. Like, I'm sure you can see me sweating because like, I have to turn the AC off to film this video. Otherwise it's gonna be in the background. All right, but um, let's, just, let's just start the video. So today I have one of my most obnoxious, my most luxurious, my most insert an adjective here item that I have in my closet. So what we have today is the Gucci Princeton loafer. I already showed it off earlier, but let's talk about it in detail now. This is kind of what I do. <laughs> this is honestly one of my favorite items in my closet, just due to how out there it is, due to how like, when I think about a luxury item, like this is the luxury, luxury item to me. The fur, it's unnecessary. The Gucci logo, incredibly unnecessary. Let me tell you when I got it. So um, I have a tradition, or I had a, I had a tradition. Every semester when I finish college, if I get a 3.9 or above, I would reward myself at the end of the semester. And I believe I got this in my sophomore year. Yeah, I believe I got this in my sophomore year and I got a 4.0 that, that semester. So I was like, I should reward myself. And um, my friend my friend had one of these, but they had this version. This particular loafer was shown on the first runway for McKelly. And um, I believe it was 2015, something like that, 2015 or 2016. And, um, and ever since it's been a fan favorite and it's been a stable since like, when it first came out, everybody had it, but now it's kind of dying off. So, you know, only the people that actually like the silhouette actually have it now or buying it now. I like, don't like how fashion, there's a lot of sheep that they just they follow trends. So, you know, they buy what's popular. And um, I think for if you see this out in the wild right now on Instagram right now, like you're seeing people who actually really like the piece for what it is rather than just like, Oh, Gucci released something and it's trendy. Let me get a pair. Let me get let me get in on the height. Okay, let's just get into the detail. Yeah, so the Prince Town fur line leather slipper is completed with a leather strap across the front with house web stripes and double G hardware. Since its debut in the fall winter 2015 collection, the Prince Town slipper has become a mainstay of Gucci collections. Unconventional, yet entirely modern, the influential accessory from creative director Alessandro Michele is something that has been a mainstay of Gucci. I said that already, fuck. Um, the leather, so the leather is calf leather. It's not too soft, it's a bit rigid. And green and red web strap with double G hardware, elongated toe, leather sole. The wool type is lamb. My friend has a kangaroo version. I think I said this in my other video already, so let's move on. The wool origins in Europe, 0.5 inches heel. And I added outsoles to these because originally the soles were very thin and you know, I want to preserve the life of these now. I told my um, I told my carpet to add an extra, to add extra outsoles. Um, the lamb wool lining is actually all throughout. Let me show you a clip right now, of like showing you the inside of what the shoe looks like when you put your feet in.
now that we got all the details out of the way, let's answer the main question that you may have or that you are have, that you are asking right now. Is it comfortable? Well, that's probably not your main question. Your main question is definitely, is it warm? It, will it keep you warm? And the answer is simple. It's yes. It's going to keep you very warm because you know that thing, that study about like how if you keep the bottom of your feet warm, your whole feet will stay warm. Like this is why socks exist. So, you know, like since your feet are going to be covered in fur, in lamb wool fur, like it's going to keep you very warm. And the exposed ankles, like, you know, when you you're going to wear pants, like even if you wear shorts, the bottom of your feet are warm. So your leg is going to be a lot warmer than they are. The question I want to get back to is it like, is it comfortable? Yes and no. <laughs> It's a bit complicated. They are very easily accessible. So, you know, you slip on and off. So that's a good part. That's a pro. The sense there's not a lot of support, like the lining is very thin. Even with me adding extra outsoles in there, they're still very thin. So, you know, like me having flat feet, I need a lot of support. I need technology and this thing lacks technology. So it's not a match made in heaven. So maybe I should have thought about it before I got it, but I just wanted to reward myself. I was young, okay? I was like 19. Yeah, something like that, 19 years old. So um, yeah, anyway, I already got it. So yeah, so it is comfortable, but I can only wear it for like an hour or two. Like if you tell me like, hey, Makassi, let's go into Boston. Let's go have a fun day out in Boston. I will not wear these shoes because you know, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna be walking around a lot. It's gonna be a four or five hour thing. But if you're telling me like, hey, let's go to the mall real quick. Let's go, let's go eat real quick. Like, and then, you know, if I have to drive, like you can just easily slip on and off and go like for one to two, possibly three hours of wear, like you're good. But the longer you wear it, you're going to feel the ground a lot more. Like it's not a lot of support. Um, another, let's, let's do a quick comparison to my Birkenstock. Is it more comfortable than my Birkenstock? Absolutely not. I honestly think my Birkenstocks and my New Balance those two are, I should like Gweedy to that too. So Gweedy, Gweedy is definitely my most comfortable boots. And my least comfortable boots as of right now are these. These thing right here. And I still haven't broken them in yet, but you know, give me a month or two. But yeah, so Gweedy is my most comfortable. This is not. So Gweedy, my Gweedy, my Birkenstock, and my New Balances, and my Stan Smith. Like those four items are, some of my most comfortable footwear. Sizing, I would say go through the size or go half a size down. So the one you're seeing in this video right now is a Gucci eight and a half, which is like an equivalent to a US nine and a half, something like that, I'm, I forgot. It's a US nine and a half, I don't know what it is in Gucci. Like Gucci has its own sizing, it's super fucking weird, it's super unnecessary. Just go by the European size, you fucks. So annoying. Anyway, yeah, so sensitive slippers, like you can afford to go a bit smaller, you go half a size smaller because when you wear a loafer, you don't want it. You don't want to have too much space. You don't have to, You don't want to have too much real estate behind your heel. So you know, you can afford to go half a size down. And I think if I were to go true size, which is a forty-three, and um, the price tags on these, I believe, are nine hundred and ninety-five. Which is, when you think about it, it's not that. It's not that expensive for luxury footwear because. The Balenciaga Triple S now is like 900, 895, 995. The Brick Owen Seal Basket, they're like 1200. When you think about it in terms of high fashion, like these are not outrageous in terms of pricing, but when you think about it in general, it's super unnecessarily expensive. Unnecessarily expensive. And I would not pay retail, which I did not. I got these on sale. Let's um let's talk about the pro now. So obviously I talked about it already. It's easily it's easily slipped on and off. Like I as I grow older, like I become a lot lazier. So, you know, I wear my Birkenstock a lot. I wear these Gucci a lot. Like when I just need to drive to drop my sister off or if I need to go to the grocery store, like I'm gonna wear my Birkenstock or I'm gonna wear these. Another pro is that, um, you know, since they're loafers, you can wear them without socks if you choose to. And I believe it's recommended that you wear without socks. Most people that I've seen wear these, I don't wear with socks because, you know, they want to feel the fur on their feet to keep you warm. But um. I gen I generally wear my socks because like it add it gives me a bit more cushion that I need like to you know to embrace the embrace the ground so then like give me less shock. It's crazy crazy warm. I I really like the fur on this thing. Like it keeps you super warm and they did not skim out on the fur at all. They put it wherever they could. Like let me show you the video of the in let me show you the inside of the shoes again. Like they did not skip any area at all. They put it 
everywhere. Everywhere they could put a fur on, they put on it. They glued it on, or whatever technique they use. Um, something else I want to say is that um, the leather, the leather is very good, but it creases easily. But I think, I think the creases add to the character of the loafer. Like, I'm not the type of person that wants to keep all my shoes clean. I'm not the type to, you know, wear my boots and then come home, clean it, put it in the box again. Like, I think those people are weird as fuck. Like, dude, they're footwear. Get it dirty. Give it character. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> It just, yeah, I think the creases make the shoe looks better in my opinion. Like it shows like where I've been with these. And you know, I, I think I took these shoes with me to um, Cambodia or Europe or Canada. I took it somewhere on a trip. I believe I did. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it just like the dirt on your shoe, like they show character, they show where you've been. And I really like that idea a lot. Like my Stan Smith, there are holes, there are creases, there are dirt everywhere. I've worn them in Paris, I've worn them in Prague, in London, in Cambodia, in Canada. The Stan Smith have traveled with me everywhere I go. It just, it's super comfortable and it just, it goes with everything. And I really do have to give this point to the to the loafer. Like, it's super unique. Like, a lot of people copy them after they came out. I know Steve Madden copied them, but they're cheap, ugly, fuck version. And like, a lot more people copy them. Anyway, um, the fur, the fur is very nice. I wish I would have got the kangaroo fur though. I just want to see what it feels like. Like I never want it. I never want my friend's low fur because you know I didn't want. I don't like asking people to try other people's stuff on. You know that that's not that's not who I am. But um yeah. So I wish I you know just I just want to see what a kangaroo fur feels like. I know what a I know what a lamb fur feels like. I own a couple. I own a couple of low fur with lamb fur, and you know. What else can I say? Um, I think that's it about the pro. Um, let's get to the con. So um, one of the cons is that, um, right, let me put my feet up. So when you wear these shoes, there's the opening right here. Oh, okay, let's not do this. I'm gonna insert a clip right now of me talking about the main con of this loafer. So um, roll the clip. All right, now that you know what that means, so um, the next point is that um, absolutely zero support. The outsole is super thin, even with the added outsole, it's still thin, they don't give you any support, there's no technology, there's nothing. If you have flat feet like me, this is not for you. Like, you can you can get it if you plan on just wearing it for a couple of hours, but if you want this, if you want to make these loafers like your vacation loafers, please don't do it. Like, you're gonna have a very hard time. Um, another thing is that, um. The leather heel tab, I, I do not get, other than like just branding, I don't get it. It just is Gucci made in Italy, but like it offers no support. It is there for the look of it, you know, it just designed just for the sake of design. There's no practical purpose of it. Like, it just really just to show, they, I think they just needed to put their logo somewhere and you know, they carve out a place without the fur and just put a Gucci logo on it. Another another con is definitely the, um, the midsole or the outsole, like it's super thin. Like originally it was even thinner before I added the outsole, so I think that's definitely a con because if you don't take care of these shoes, like if you don't like, if you don't watch where you're walking, the life of these loafer will not be that long. Another con is that um you're kind of limited with when you can wear it because if it's in the deep of summer, you can't wear it because it's gonna keep your feet way too warm and then you're gonna sweat on it. If it's um, raining, you can't wear it in the rain for the fur purposes. Like you can see, you know, rain and fur do not go together. While it's snowing, you can't really wear that either because then the snow would get onto would get onto too much of the fur. If the snow is already on the ground, you're fine because like the way they designed these fur, like you can see that like they're all concave up, like they're not just falling flat down. So you should be good. I know that sounds a bit complicated, but let's just let's just say it, you're you're a bit limited at the time that you can wear these loafers. Next segment, which is how I would style it. For that segment, let's throw it down to the guy downstairs.
All right. Okay, now that you now that you saw how I would wear it, let's just. I think that's it for the. I think that's it for this video. I think this is definitely like luxury, luxury. When you think about luxury clothing item or luxury item, this is on the list. Like Guidi, they look like every other boots except for the front thing. Like my Saint Laurent, my Saint Laurent boots, they just look every, every other boots, but. When people see you wearing this, like, they're like, that's, that's Gucci, that's a luxury. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's so outrageous. It's so obnoxiously in your face with its logo, with its fur. Like, it's an attention grabber. Like, when I wear these in the grocery store, like, you know, people turn around and look at me, like, do a double take, which is, you know, it's, sometimes it's, I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, so, you know, people do a double take when they see me wearing these, and which is nice. Sometimes it starts to compensate and be like, hey, I really like your loafer. So, you know, it's it's a nice conversation starter for sure. Would I, would I buy it again? I would probably not buy it again. If I could go back to that sophomore year, which is like 2017, 2017 or 2016, I would probably buy a Birkenstock instead because with how I am right now, how I don't want to be too out there, out there in terms of like my my fashion sense, I would probably not get these or I would try to get, you know, the version I wanted originally, which is a bit more subtle. But yeah, um, that's really, that's about it. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day.